Welcome back to the channel. So I know it's been quite some time since I said the car was gonna be tuned, but we're finally getting it done. Uh, for this one, we're only gonna tune it on 91, uh, not E85 yet because the fuel lines and the fuel pump and all the other stuff, it hasn't been upgraded yet. And uh, so we're just gonna see what it puts down on 91 and then we're gonna get it retuned on E85 at a later date. Uh, originally the car put down 260 wheel and 248 wheel torque so if I'm trying to guess how much it'll get maybe 270 anything higher than that I'd be pretty happy with it but yeah I don't know if on just strictly 91 and no changes to the modifications if it'll get much higher than 270 so we're hoping for 270 and then maybe for torque maybe 255 to 260 eh. Maybe, probably not 260, but like in the mid to high 250s. All right, so it's a little loud in here, but we're getting ready. Um, we're gonna do the first uh, few runs. It's just gonna be as it is to get a baseline. And uh, yeah, hopefully this puts down the same numbers or higher. If it puts down higher, that'd be cool, but 260 and 248 wheel torque was the baseline from before. such a huge difference literally like 15 to like 18 wheel horsepower difference but you could see that that's what the car put down last time we we dyno did I don't know what it is I don't think the dynos are friends today because uh, it will be lucky to hit the numbers that it hit last time on this tune so yeah I'm not sure you guys tell me what you think it is but yeah so going back to this nearly 20 wheel horsepower difference, uh, we're both confused as to why it put down, um, I guess, such a low number from the baseline, because I haven't changed anything on the cord since then. Um, maybe the dyno before was reading higher, but I mean, it's on the same dyno, so I don't think it's that. Maybe the car just... Maybe it's not running up to the full health like it was before. I'm not sure, but now that we have such a low baseline, we would be, I would be surprised if we even hit the first baseline on this tune because, like I said, that's about 10... Or no, no, that's about 19 wheel horsepower difference. And I'm so shocked and surprised. Like, I'm not even sure what's going on. Um, if you've uh, dynoed your 8th gen with similar mods, let me know what it put down because originally this put down 260 wheel and 248 wheel torque um, but today it put down a max of 245 wheel horsepower and then 225 wheel torque which that's a huge difference so I'm confused um, but we're getting K-Tuner set up you can see like all the cords and stuff going into the car uh, hopefully the tune goes well and we could put down some decent numbers. Alright, so we got it flashed on the K-Tuner base map. Uh, it's for 91 octane and the mods that I have on the car. So now we have to get to the actual fine tuning and adjusting portion. Uh, I'm still a bit bummed about the numbers but just being fully transparent, the car put down less than it did on the baseline, so we'll be lucky to even hit the baseline number on this tune. Who knows, honestly, but we'll get right into it right now. So here's a look of how 
it looks like when you're kind of on the computer and you're using the K-Tuner to um, tune the car. It's a bunch of tables and, um, and just kind of numbers and stuff like that. So yes, this uh, tuning is definitely recommended to get someone who knows how to tune because uh, these, there's a lot of values and you can mess it up. But um, if you do know how to manipulate these like um, properly, then I guess you could tune it yourself. But I do not know, so I'm getting someone to tune it, obviously, so yeah. So the graph towards the lower RPMs, it's uh, smoother and it gains some power mid, um, I guess, in the middle. But um, you can still see top end, it's losing some power. Also, when we did that last pull, there was some smoke. I don't know what the hell that was. But um, yeah, we gained some um, horsepower, but we lost some torque, which... Oh wait, wait, that's between the, the baseline and, and then this last run. So, so the torque's going up actually. But um, I'm just hoping that we can at least match baseline, but I don't know because originally we thought it was a timing problem. We fixed that a little bit and now maybe we'll add a little bit more fuel. We initially came in today with 245 wheel horsepower and 225 uh, wheel torque so obviously lower than the baseline we last did but uh, with tuning and just um, with how the car puts down on the day of the dyno you kind of have to think of, not think about that anymore and go based off what it put down and then the difference so we were able to retrieve about another 11 wheel up to 256 wheel horsepower and then we brought back the torque to 17 wheel uh, torque back so in that regard it it is a successful dyno day and it also shows that uh, the car's running the car's running better overall so it'll definitely feel better in um, especially in the mid-range I'd say but uh, yeah this is concluding the 91 tune um, we will be back for the E85 tune, but uh, definitely I would say we can only maybe expect about 10 wheel uh, gain. So with the way my car is, with the current mods, I, don't, I can't see it being more than 270-ish. So yeah, hopefully you liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next upload.